Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now let me just ask you this question. Imagine you are so deranged, so unhinged, that you're not capable of socialising with other human beings. In fact, you're considered so dangerous that you spend every 23 hours of every 24 hours confined in a glass cell in the basement. And for the one hour of exercise which you get, which is a legal requirement, you require no less than six prison guards to accompany you. What would you do? What would you think? By anyone's definition, that person is a bad, bad man. And his name is Robert Morsley, nicknamed Hannibal the Cannibal. And he is considered one of the most dangerous prisoners ever. But how did he get this way? Now by his own definition, Robert is capable of doing anything. He is a classified psychopath and his grievances stem with child molesters. Robert Maudsley slaughtered his first victim, a builder called John Farrett, when he was only 21 years old, working as a rent boy. Now dependent on drugs, Robert sold his body. In 1974, in order to pay for his next fix, he encountered with John Farrett. During their encounter, John showed Robert images of a girl he was abusing, and right there and then, Robert flew into a major rage. What he did was garret John until he turned blue in the face before he drew his last breath and ultimately died. It was probably the fact that he saw children as people he needed to protect. Robert was the fourth of 12 children and he spent his early years in a Catholic orphanage before his crap parents reclaimed him eight years later. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that reconciliation is supposed to be magical. It's supposed to be the time of your life. But instead, back at the family home, Robert had spent six months locked inside a room where he was beaten every day, multiple times a day, and his only visitor was his dad who beat him, as his own mum egged on her husband. He also took extra beatings to protect his brothers and sisters. Now after the murder of John Farrett, he turned himself in, and Robert was declared unfit to stand trial and instead he was sectioned to Broadmoor Hospital. But three years later, Robert Morsley killed again. In 1977, he and another psychopath, David Cheeseman, barricaded themselves inside a room with another child molester, and what they did was torture the victim to death in a violent and prolonged attack. They then dangled his body for the prison guards to see. After this murder, Robert was then charged with manslaughter, and he was sent to Wakefield Prison, where he then murdered two more people. In July 1978, Robert Morsley snapped. He first strangled 46-year-old Salni Darwood, who had been jailed for killing his wife. Salni Darwood was strangled and then he was stabbed. His dead corpse was then hidden underneath the bed. Not satisfied or content with murder number two, Robert then crept into the cell of 56-year-old Bill Roberts who had abused a little girl. Bill Roberts' head was smashed against the wall and his skull was hacked at with a makeshift dagger. Now, it was during this attack that Bill Roberts' head was said to be cracked open like an egg and Roberts put a spoon into the open part. There were reports that Robert ate part of the victim's brain and that's how he got the name Hannibal the Cannibal. However, those rumours were refuted. After he committed the two murders, Roberts then calmly went over to the prison guards and told them that two people would be missing for roll count. During his 1979 trial, Roberts said he was thinking about his parents at the time of the double murder, wishing he had killed them with his bare hands. Now Robert Morsley, aka Hannibal the Cannibal, has been jailed since 1974. He is locked inside a specially constructed 5.5 metre by 4.5 metre bulletproof glass cell in Wakefield Prison. He had asked the judge to let him die in 2000, since he has not been allowed to socialise with the general population, but his request was denied for a final time, and now he will spend the rest of his life in that same small glass box until the day he dies. 
is he a masterful violent criminal or is he a vigilante who did the hard job that other people could not get done? Let me know in the comments. Stay safe. Safe.